What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. It is Monday. It's our Monday. It's hard to keep track of days in the summertime. Never know what day it is. Uh, we've got a little bit going on today. Abigail's got respite at four o'clock. For us as parents, that's a good thing. We are, we are excited about some respite. We're gonna go do a little date night, a little something, date afternoon, date evening, whatever. Um, just Priscilla and I hang out a little bit and just enjoy each other's presence not being parents for a couple hours so I'm super excited about that coffee come on no. come on no. no you're gonna pick it all up get your jar pick it all up no. Is that all of it? Where's the lid? There's the lid. Get it. Give me the lid. Put it back on. Turn. You gotta turn. There you go. No, put it back where you got it from. In the bedroom. Put it in the bedroom. Right here. Right here. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't I didn't know you were alive. She came in here just destroying everything. It's been one of those days, one of those mornings with Abigail so far. Um, just destructive uh -huh. and um, getting into trouble. Things Abby takes things apart. She takes apart couches and takes lids off of things and constantly taking things apart. I feel like our whole life is putting things back together. Priscilla was on live and I didn't realize it. She was live doing her makeup and Abby came in here and wreaked havoc. Any of that on the live video? I'm sure. Okay, we'll have to show some of that. You get blush, foundation, mascara, eyeliner, and you can get that in a collection. So, total with, if I put the polish on at night, um, you know, you put the kids down to bed if you have kids or whatever. Hey, hey. <laughs> we got a visitor, guys. Hey, can you come say hi to everybody? Can you come say hi? Can you wave? Say hi, look right here. <laughs> You're so busy, where is your father? Where is he? Okay, um, what was I saying, I mean, You made me forget. Okay, so you can get in a collection and do it that way. It's just a very neutral color. Yes ma'am, okay, can you hold on just a second? Number 200, and I love this color. It's very neutral. There you go. So there's my finished look. I will do a uh, picture on my Facebook page. If you guys, oh, let's let's give me the deodorant. She's so busy. This is why I don't have her. Hey guys. <laughs> no, let me have that. There you go, Amanda. Yeah, I mean. Um, Okay, I'm going to jump off of here so I can go get her. I don't know where Asa is, so I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Real life. Hashtag real life. Okay, bye. You ready to craft? Okay, our rescuer is here. We're going to make something for the shop. Are you happy to see Crazy Nanny? Bye. Love you. Bye, Nanny. Bye. Okay, so we've got some errands to run. We gotta go to the post office. We gotta do things like that. Uh, we gotta go to the P.O. box and pick up our mail because they said that our mailbox was full of <laughs> the stuff that you awesome people send us. So we gotta go do that. And we have to go to the pharmacy because they were closed when mom went. So Abby is out of her meds. Yeah. Fortunately, we had enough to get us through last night. And um, we just found out we got approved for ABA therapy. Because if you guys have been watching long enough uh, a month ago, actually, you would know that Abigail's 
Dynavox and her ABA therapy were both denied by insurance. Uh, so we've been fighting with that because Abigail's been receiving the same ABA therapy for years now. Uh, the same amount of hours and everything. So this is, uh, it was shocking when they denied it, but we just, Priscilla just called them and it finally has been approved. So that's that's good news. I don't want to say it's exciting just because they it should have been from in the first place. Yeah, it shouldn't have taken this long. Right, it shouldn't have taken a month to get it approved. But So we've got another six months of ABA therapy before we have to get it approved again and go through the process again. Never ending cycle, huh? It is, it's ridiculous. Are you gonna help me get the mail? I am. Okay, what's your favorite thing to get in the mail? Letters. You love the letters, don't I you? I do. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? How are you doing good? My favorite thing I think is like the homemade stuff. I love that too. The homemade My stuff is, is just so, it's so, you guys are so creative. My goodness. Pull the brim again. Let me hold something. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I know who that's from. From someone on Patreon. Aww. The Moss family, right? The Moss family. Oh, we got a lot more, she says. Yeah, this is from Marta. She said she decorated it with puzzle pieces. Holy cow. All of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what in the world? All okay. of it. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Right. Yeah, need a hand with that door? I think I got it. Thank, Thank you. you. Holy cow, guys. You guys. I love Priscilla's reaction always. You guys. This is crazy. That lady doesn't know what to say to us. She, she never knows She's like, what, what to expect. Doing? To fathering Aww. autism in summer. Oh, summer's How not cute here. Is that? Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to do a mail time later, don't you think? Yeah. Yep, mail time. Coming at you a little bit later. Okay. Yeah? Yes. So if you work in a pharmacy, and, and I'm sure that, you know, if you're watching this, you probably, most of our viewers are thoughtful and mindful of other people. But if you work at a pharmacy, remember that the people on the other side of the counter, like sometimes the stuff that they're getting, like they need, they need it. And, and, the, and possibly their child needs it. And possibly their child needs it in order to sleep or else they're going to be up for the next 24 hours and, until... Um, until they can get their meds. Well, and my issue is, is a lot of people are like, oh, just plan ahead. And you can't plan ahead because insurance will only let you go so far in advance. Right. So I call and I do these prescriptions as soon as I can. And then you go to pick them up and they're like, oh, the doctor denied it. I'm like, the doctor's the one who wrote the prescription. He wouldn't deny it. Like, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever Well, it's ever been like heard. three days now that you've been, you know, back and forth between the doctor and the pharmacy. Yeah. Like, and, and, and really you shouldn't have to do that. Like the doctors should be able to send a fax to, why they're still sending faxes, I don't know, but send a fax to the pharmacy and, and it'd be done, right? It should be like a one-time right. conversation. And the lady's like, conversation. the pharmacist says, well, why don't you just go get the, the hand, the paper prescription? Because I shouldn't have to do that. Right. Because it's a six month supply. I don't go, she doesn't go to the doctor every month, but I shouldn't have to do that. And, then, and then insurance companies comes out, they come out with new rules for getting meds and new requirements. And it's like it, it every single time, and this is not like an exaggeration, every single month when we go to pick up Abby's meds. Like you guys say I'm a patient person. <laughs> I'm patient unless it comes to the prescription refills that's when I completely lose my crap because we've been giving her the same medication for however long now you know the doctors the same like everything is the same it shouldn't be this difficult every single month I go in there the issue is is I get some new pharmacy technician who has no clue what's going on she's having to ask for help from everyone and she's trying to read notes and I guarantee she's looking at the wrong prescription well and, and I want to say that she you know no hate on new employees because people get new employees but there's so much turnover, turnover at this walgreens that it's it's constant like we always have new people so and they do have you no guys idea have a pharmacy that you love like a chain because if you do let me know because i'm about over walgreens i'm about to write them off because every month it comes back they go oh we're so sorry i mean we've got an emergency you know pills like like one night two night supplies like every month yeah we've and had now to they it. won't give it to me because they said the doctor denied it i'm right. like i talked to the doctor's office this morning at 10 21 and they told me they sent it back over again and it's never the doctor's fault we, every single time the pharmacy has apologized and told us it won't happen again yeah it's uh Oh. Blood pressure's up, got got a little heated, you know, because it's, you know, when it comes to your kids, like, like they don't understand. Like the claws this isn't just come like out. Tylenol. Like, Abby won't sleep. 
You know, she will not sleep. She'll be up all night. So. So guess what I get to work on again tomorrow? I feel like I need to like three-way them so they can get their crap together. So that they can be like, well, you didn't send it. And they'll be like, yes, I did. Cause I can't do it. And now of course it's after hours. And I thought it was fine because Walgreens called me today and said, please come pick up your prescriptions. They're ready to be picked up. D you're lying. Automated phone call. You're do, lying. Do you feel like like the, the matchmaker back in school when you were like talking between your, your girlfriend yeah. and, and some guy that she wanted to, she wanted to date and you're like back and forth between them the whole time. Like that's what it feels like between Walgreens and the doctor. So is it all pharmacies? Like yeah. should I switch or is this how it is? Because we've we we've only ever gone to Walgreens, yes. so let us know, guys, down in the comments, what is the best chain pharmacy to go through? I hope it's not Walmart. God, I hope it's not Walmart. Maybe Publix. Maybe Publix. Or CVS. Okay, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go have some frustration food. We're going to get Mexican food because we're we're dying for Mexican food. So we are. We're gonna go make that decision. Yep. It's one of those days, guys. You know, you just have those days, and I, I don't. Everybody has. Just keep smiling. Those days. We had a rough couple days with Abby, and uh, here we go. Let's go eat. Okay. Well, in the midst of a crap day, um, <laughs> I didn't mention earlier, and I think I don't know. Sometimes I don't share things that I should share. You know, because I don't know. You know, I still want that like silver lining and that hope for other parents or, or something. So I don't share everything all the time and, and which is okay but there's some things I should share that I don't um, for example you know Abby did attack me this morning um, she was having having a moment having a meltdown you know d keeping her occupied keeping her busy um, creating a schedule for her all these things are certainly helping but that's I don't think it's gonna stop the meltdowns like dead in their tracks just because we go from you know a month and a half month full of meltdowns. I don't think we're just gonna go from 100 miles an hour to zero that quickly. But it is helping, but she still did have a meltdown this morning, and, and although that was a lot of my fault. Right. Um, I, I put a lot of demands on her this morning. We had, she got out of her pajamas um, this morning and she shredded her pull-ups. So there was pull-up all over her bedroom, like little pieces. Um, so we made her clean that up. She had to help clean that up. Uh, she had to have a bath first, which she was totally happy with the bath she got. But then she wanted cereal, and I kept putting demands on her, making her do certain, like she had to carry the vacuum up the stairs because mom had to vacuum her room, and then she had to bring trash down from the shredded pull-up, then she had to go back upstairs to get something else. And like I kept putting demands on her, and she eventually got to the point where she got frustrated and angry, and then that, that so then that turned into a little bit of a tantrum, and... I basically, you know, informed her I was not putting up with her attitude, but then that tantrum, you know, a tantrum can turn into a meltdown when there's a loss of control, and she certainly lost control and went full meltdown mode. Um, she was trying to bite herself, slam her hands into her legs like she does, and and I was blocking her from doing that. So then she attacked me in return, um, trying to. Uh, pinch me and bite me. I ended up getting her calm down finally. That was before she barged in on you doing makeup So she was still wound up after I got her calmed down though Just you know a whole a wound up mood all day. So the good thing is her psychiatrist just called Yeah, and he was calling about the whole pharmacy Debacle so give us an opportunity to talk to him about meltdowns, right? He kind of gave us some suggestions And so we're gonna work on different things with that and he agrees with us that that you know some aspect of it can be puberty based as far as the increased frequency or the level of meltdown that we're having and and we totally agree with that you know it's it's she's going to have larger mood swings and issues with mood because of that but remember too that meltdowns are are typically sensory based or you know that's that's usually the reason mm -hmm. for a meltdown you know or a tantrum that goes to the point of a lack lack of control and i know a lot of people and we don't want to talk about abigail's personal things as far as puberty and stuff but just know she's been going through puberty for a long time it's not a new thing yeah let's just put it at that like, yeah the meltdowns are a new thing uh puberty is not correct yeah i know some people are you know right i just want to yeah. let everyone know that and i think okay so that was a big one that came up and then another big one that came up was isaiah being gone yeah uh, but, but the meltdown started 
while Isaiah was here before right. he even went, you know, before he went on any of his trips or anything like that. Yeah, we actually um, have a video with him helping her. Yeah, he helped get her through, through through a meltdown. So, yeah. so those two, those are two things that we definitely considered. And it, but I agree with Dr. De La Hunt and and a lot of you guys that you know they, they, that puberty is contributing to it as far as how rough these meltdowns are, um, and perhaps the frequency. But it's not the cause of it. Right. And that's what we're searching to find is the cause. So, talked through that with him. Get the pharmacy stuff situated. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna be able to sit down and talk with him in a later date. You know, if this continues and try to try to work this work this out. So we're excited he about the progress. Called us after hours, so that's so impressive. He's such Love a great doctor. doctor. Such a good doctor. I hope they didn't call him like these crazy maniac parents. <laughs> <laughs> Just went off on us at the drive-through. <laughs> Not our proudest moment, maybe. <laughs> Great, I'm sending you to pick this stuff up. <laughs> it's gonna be ready tonight, right? Maybe. Probably. I don't want to go back there. I'm gonna send you. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Asa came across the seat. <laughs> it looks something like this. I was like, listen here. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Where's the camera when that was happening? I know. I wish I, I, I wish I had been recording. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, we can laugh about it now. You don't mess with my family, you know. You don't mess with my family. It's like my, the mafia. My wife. My wife worked on this. She has, you know, she has to do the job of the doctor's office receptionist and and the farm the farm techs. She has to do both of their jobs every single time we get a prescription uh, for Abigail, and that you know, f and for them to say no to deny her what she deny abby what she needs and the fact that abby won't sleep so that's messing with my family and it makes me mad you, you don't you don't mess with the family <laughs> okay we got dinner and we got some errands ran we're gonna go in and see our girl we're gonna open some packages and we're gonna we're gonna reveal the winner of the t-shirt contest oh <gasps> hi there mm -hmm. were you napping mm -hmm. um you want to eat and don't you always want to eat how was your nap? Was it good? So what wore you out? The crafting? Or the super active morning you had? Can I please have a kiss? Can I pretty please have a kiss? <laughs> That's okay. Mom does the same thing. It's okay. I do not. <laughs> Can we get... Thank you. <laughs> I knew I could get one. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good afternoon. What's up? What are you excited about? What do you want to do? You want, you want to open packages? There might be candy. <laughs> there might be candy in there. Hey, can we go see your art that you did today? Abby did some arts and crafts, didn't you, kiddo? So this is done with like ketchup bottles like you get like at a restaurant, you know? Like the squirt yeah. type bottles. Uh -huh. And um, tie-dye paint is how this is done. Look at this. Aw, Abby! So Abby stands stands up and this stuff, is, this is on the ground and she squirts it Aww. with the different colors. That's so cool. Isn't that so cool? I love these. I know. They're my fave. They, mine too. So are these going up in the store? Yeah. Okay. Put them up in the store. Okay. Are these awesome? They are so awesome. I know. So the link for our store will be down in the description. As yeah, the link always. for the store is down in the video description as always. And we had, we did get some more stuff in stock that we were out of stock of. We have sunglasses. We have coffee mugs. Um, we got some of the smaller sizes t-shirts that we ran out of. We got all that stuff back in stock. Super impressed with your hey, art. Good job, kiddo. Nice job with the art. You're such an artiste. You are. Let's open some packages. Come on. Let's open this one. This one's from Martha. Mm -hmm. Mark this on, on Patreon app. Open on the blog, it says. She's okay. one of our patrons. Are you ready? Look how she decorated the outside of the box. It says, Moss family, thank you for being an inspiration. I love all your videos. And it has made me want to become an ABA therapist. Thanks for all you do, Marta. Aw. Aw. That's so cool, Ab. What's in there? Look oh at that. Oh my goodness. Look, it's Priscilla, I made this necklace in art class and thought you would like it. Aww. And this is for mom. Okay, this is for you. Thank you. Look at the back. Oh, there you go. I made you this for your office, hope you like it. Oh, how cool is that? Look, it's a play button. It's my it's my first play button. <laughs> with the with the puzzle piece in oh it. How gosh. cool is that? I love that. 
Look at that, you guys. That's so pretty. Thank you, Marta. Oh, this is for Isaiah. Isaiah, if you're watching this, I hope this tube is bigger and you don't get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, I found this and thought you would like to play and stim with it. Also, you love the pool. Oh, look at that. They're little Oh my gosh, little octopuses. octopuses. Look at that. Octopi. Look at those, Ab. Look at, look at that, Abby. They light up. Yeah, you like Isn't that, that, huh? Isn't that cool? And she decorated the box. Thank you so, so much. So pretty. Here, look. Oh, legs. Isn't that neat? Okay, what's next? Wanna open this one? Sure. Who's this is from the Omira family. Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. The Omira family from Cleveland, Ohio. Abby, you wanna open that up? Go ahead. Oh, For Abby, that? it says. <gasps> oh my goodness, Girl Scout cookies. That's a winner. Box tops, woohoo! Uh oh. That's for me. Girl Scout cookies are a hot commodity. Oh, beautiful. Look at these still. Oh these are for goodness. you. Look at the little green stars. Oh, That's, you guys. Because you're, you're a star. Thank you. Oh, it's a squishy fish. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at that thing. Is that a shark's tooth in there? That's for you or Isaiah, I think. Whoa. It's a shark's tooth inside of a puzzle piece. That's super cool. That's rad. Here we go. Here's a letter. This will explain it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a letter. Okay, so they already said this will be too long to read on film, so don't bother. The toy is for Abby. If she hates it, that's okay. Pass it on. The <laughs> earrings are for Priscilla. The shark teeth, puzzle teeth, and necklaces are for Isaiah and Asa. How cool. I make the jewelry and sell it on my Etsy shop. Wow. There's two of them. Look, there's one for me and one for Isaiah. Yep. Dragon's Crafty Den if you want to look it up. That's so cool. Thank you so much, Becca, Nathan, Omira, and Chloe Sowers. Is that Becca? Dragon Becca? Yeah. So I will definitely read this whole letter. Thank you so much. And thank you for the box tops. Thank you very much. How cool is that? Abby's loving the cookies. And she does like the squishy, so. Yep. Win. Oh boy. Abby loves these. Where is that from? It's a, it's a squishy, squishy mail time. With love and appreciation from Trinidad and Tobago. Really? Wow. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all are the sweetest. Pull. They're stress relievers. <laughs> Woo! This is from Kate Mundy. Fathering autism, summer. Oh, we'll have to leave that for her to Don't open. Don't read on the vlog, please. Okay. okay. We won't read them on the vlog, Kate. Thank you for the letters. Thank you so much. From uh -huh. Jessica Boley in Wisconsin. This is a card. It's from Darius. It says, to Father Autism, I really like your YouTube channel that you've done, and I, I have autism myself, but I cope with it. Sometimes I get a little bit angry and annoyed and stressed, and I struggle with money sometimes. Hope you like the card. Best wishes, Darius. Thank you, Darius. I do love the card. Look at that. Aw, that's Pandas. so cute. Life's a bowl of cherries because of nice people like you. Thanks. Dear Moss family, you are the nicest family ever. Abigail is the kindest girl ever. Hope you guys have a great year. One of your fans, Jessica B. P.S. I hope you like the paintings. Took me three days. Paintings from Jessica B. Wow. It's a cabin in the woods. That's beautiful. Let me see. Look at that. Oh, Jessica, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Thank that you cool, so guys? much. Wow, oh that's gosh. really pretty. You are talented. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, it's a waterfall? Yeah, I think so. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at that. That's so neat. So cool, Jessica. Thank you, you so much. You very, very talented. Oh, that was so sweet of, of her. Yeah. Three days well spent, I say. I know. Okay, this is from who? No name. It's from no name. Is that what it says? It literally says no name. From California. Cupertino. Cupertino, that's where Apple is. That's where, um, whenever you get your device, isn't that where the weather's always at? That's because that's where Apple is. 
Isn't that what that is? Yes. Comfortino comes up on your <laughs> on your weather app on on your Apple device. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, why have I heard of that? Holy cow! <laughs> you don't know that that's for you, Abby. Away. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Holy cow. Seriously? Hello. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Cookies, because Abigail asked for cookies. UV oh, art boy. materials. Stuff for Abigail to do a crazy nanny and the company gives back to classrooms in need. Insta snow for some cool sensory play. Bubber, sensory dough stuff. Body sock, because Abigail likes to put blankets on her head. She might like one of these. That's it. This is a body sock. Have you guys ever seen a body sock? They're awesome. Fuzzy pencil case, finger mass massagers, and better sponges. Wow. Unintentional stimmy toys. The sponges are what I like to call stimtastic. Sour Patch Kids for Moody Girl, because sometimes she's sour, but she's always sweet. <laughs> Mag's Bricks Builder, because they look like they could be fun for fine motor, but not frustrating. Maybe you can show how they work on the vlog. Ooh. Spritz Launchers, silly, but really fun for fine motor. Gummies, I now, I think oh. now she expects them, haha. -ha. Starbucks Cards for Crazy Nanny, because Abigail was throwing everything and wore Crazy Nanny out. Please feel free to pass on anything you guys may not like or have used for to her school or another family. Look at that. Love no name because I want to there to be literally no name when Asa says there's no name on here. Ha ha ha. It's so. No, we don't know who it's from. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you, whoever. Holy cow. You are. This is insane. I feel like I, I like I feel like if they said oh it's from me I'd be like yeah of course it's from you like I would know. Magnum wow. bricks. Holy cow. You are the this sweetest awesome person stuff. ever. Guys. Thank you so much. This is Just wonderful stuff. And and you're spot on too. Like some of the stuff, like if Abby isn't into it, like we'll, we'll donate, donate it to it her to school, school or you know, to another family. That's so awesome. Abby's like, well, these are not being donated right. to anyone. Anyway. <laughs> what is that? Can you give me the box? There's probably a name oh, in there. Check the box. There's probably a name in there. You're such a pain. I'm sorry. Looks like an umbrella. It is an umbrella. Hello, Fathering Autism family. I've recently found your channel and I just wanted to send a couple of tokens of appreciation for raising awareness and letting us into your lives. Hopefully this can keep you dry after therapy. You can't, no, no, you can't do that in the house. It's bad luck. I don't believe in luck. Look at How? this. Look That's at this. That's a fancy umbrella. What? Woo, it goes it. Aw, they didn't say their name though. What do you think? Hold it. You gotta keep yourself dry. That's so cool. You guys pay attention to like everything, I swear. Look at this, this is so cool. Aww. Abby's like, you guys are so cool. You nice. pay attention every time I say cookies. <laughs> you know, and they never go back in the bag they came in. Never. Bags are stupid. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank for you all. so much for all the stuff. We appreciate it so very much. Uh, one more thing to do, we have to reveal the shirt winner. Okay, for those of you that are new here, we did a t-shirt contest uh, like a month ago, and you guys submitted all your t-shirt ideas, and basically the winner is going to get a free shirt, of course, yep. and they will have the winning shirt, and we'll probably send them some other swag, too. Yeah. You know, just because that'll be fun. Uh, but okay. And then we're going to get these shirts printed. We're going to get these shirts printed, and then you guys can buy these shirts. Yeah. Okay. We'll probably do a pre-order. There were so many good shirt ideas. Like, So we had 150-something submissions for t-shirts, just overwhelming. Uh, the amount of emails that we got for t-shirt submissions loved all of them we had a few like a few that were just that were hilarious and a few that were that we thought were super cute but maybe yeah. didn't end up being the final shirt so I, i'm also going to put some of our fan favorites um at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned to the end after the credits so you, you can see some of our like you know we'll call them the staff picks and we kind of end up going in the direction of of abigail yes you know with it it was Abby themed. Yep, Abby themed. Um, which is just the reason for our channel. Yeah. So I. Um, That's what we chose. We chose one that made us think of you. Yep. Okay, the winner 
of the t-shirt contest is, drum roll, Emily McGregor! Emily McGregor! And this is what her shirt looked like. Isn't that super cute? It's, it's so candy, happy. candy golf cart, no shoes. It's just like, you know, it, the, what, what'd she call it? The Abby starter kit? Yep. It's the Abby starter kit. We loved it. Super cute, very simple, and just, you know, it spoke to us. So that's the one that we chose. Good. Thank you guys so much for all of your t shirt submissions. We really, really appreciate it. Abby, you've had three packs had of cookies. You're good. You're good. You're not having more cookies. cookies. Thank you so much for all your submissions, guys. It means the world to us. Abby, say thank you. Say thank you so much. Good job. Okay. Say, say bye. Boom kisses. Mwah. Mwah. All right, close it out, Mom. Bye, guys. Your order's delayed, and we're working to resolve the issue. There's no action required on your part.